All right, good afternoon. All righty. Well, we'll see. Um, again, he's a big, massive, athletic guy. Uh, again, two years removed from football. I know he's chomping at the bit. And right now, it's just kind of a, a wait and see for us. But we're, we're very excited with the progress that he's made. And uh, again, fully expect him in due time to get out there and perform for us. Where would he fit in on the line, do you think? Yeah, we're like, we're like him at end. Um, again, it, it's, it's what he's known. Uh, again, he came into the league playing end. And uh, even though he has grown, he's about 280 pounds now. But uh, it's muscle, and uh, he, he still has his speed. He has tremendous strength, and uh, we, we like him at end. How did you feel uh, Bradley McDougal played, and did you th think anything was different about how the secondary worked without a role being back there? No, I didn't think anything was different. Uh, again, pleased with, uh, with the way he played. Um, again, obviously, again, we, we, put, we put him in, in matchup situations to where, again, we, we historically have placed our guys before, and he went out there and battled. Was that a teachable moment for Shaq at the end there? No question. No question, absolutely, and and again, and, and that's my responsibility. So, um, the fact that we get in that situation right there, and uh, and that play happens, shows where 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 I failed the kid. You know, it's my responsibility to make sure that again, we have everybody prepared for each and every single opportunity when we place them out there. How has he rebounded from this week of practice from that? Yeah, this, this kid's a stud. You know, he's a stud, and. Uh, He's, 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 he's prepared to get back out there and keep competing. And there isn't much that has phased this guy throughout the time that he's been here. He's been poised, he's been confident, and he's exactly the way that you want a corner to be. What do you mean he wasn't, you didn't have him prepared for that moment? What do you mean for that? Well, anytime the ball goes up and we're in position, either we come down with it or the ball hits the ground. And that's day one. That's, that's, that's day one fundamental. And, um, and that's what I have to make sure all of our guys are prepared to do. If you're in the same situation Thursday night, would you do the same coverage, the same sequence? Right well, away? it depends on whether or not we want to be aggressive. Um, obviously, again, there are different calls that we could make, and it's all depending on how our attitude is going to be at the time. Adrian Peterson just to do what he's doing at 32 years old at that position, 37 players. How impressive is he been? Yeah, that was very impressive, and he fits this offense to a T. It's what he's done historically. Again, he's uh, explosive, still has speed. Again, he's a daylight runner and their offense test your discipline as is. So if we get undisciplined and we, and we pop out of gaps, then we're going to e exploit kind of his, his athletic ability, and we don't want to do that. For you guys in the run defense, is that all it was, the discipline? There were kind of those big games early with the big plays by Murray and Hyde and Sensen when holding running back down. Was that all it is? Discipline? It's discipline. There, there's no doubt about it. It's discipline and consistency, and, and, and really that, that's what great teams and excellence is about. You know, um, if if you think about it, the uh, really the mortal enemy of greatness is good, and we want to be great. Mike Freeney, two more sacks. What, what, he's, yeah. what has he brought to you guys? Yeah, just, I mean he's he's a supreme competitor. Um, I, 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 there isn't much I can say about him. I'm kind of a loss for words at him. And again, every time that somebody brings him up, you know, I'm like, man, like, goodness gracious, how, how could it possibly be that a guy that has that sort of professionalism, he's articulate. Um, again, he can uh, he can articulate the uh, the rush plans and and and, and really I, I love working with the guy because again, he, he's he's able to kind of bring everything together and, uh, and and we've gotten better since he's been here. You already know some happening on the other guys, especially the young guys. Sure, absolutely, and it's it's the calm, quiet, and confidence of a guy who will one day wear a yellow jacket, you know. And I think we all know that, and we understand that, and you have to respect that when he steps out there. Coach, you guys have dealt with these short weeks plenty of times, but is is there more of an advantage for the opposing offense getting ready for you than there is for you getting ready for the opposing offense? Well, I think it's going to come down to how they have historically tried to attack us along with how we've been sort of again, where are we giving things up throughout this season. So it's going to be a combination of understanding you know, where have little weaknesses and things like that have possibly shown up, and then that's where we're going to have to be prepared. I wouldn't necessarily say there's an advantage each each way. Like I said, we, it's, a, it's an opponent, familiar opponent that we've known throughout the years, so we'll see. Frank Clark talked about the same thing about gap play and how important in the players staying in their gap and trusting the other player that they're going to be there. And it can be on Thursday. 
Absolutely, absolutely critical. And trust is a tremendous word for it. Uh, and trust and discipline. Um, and we can't get nosy. And that, that's what it's going to come down to. We're going to have to trust the next man. It's going to be in this gap. He's going to be dominating this gap. And then we're going to have to make sure we maintain the discipline in our own gaps. What's the feeling like as a play caller when you call the blitz that you did with uh, the backed up against the goal line and you get the safety like that? Yeah, it's uh, watching the guys go out and execute a plan is uh, it's tremendous. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's tremendous joy and it's just you're just so excited for them because there it is like it's, it's the fruits of their labor you know and they're prepared for it uh, they've practiced it they've planned for it and then bam there it is it happens and it just really feels good thank you. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach. all right thank you guys